In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your assumptions become facts in your three-dimensional world. And in order to do this, you must turn your attention away from the visible world, what you see, and then redirect that into the invisible world, which is the subjective world, and concentrate your attention on that. And this can be quite simple, but I'm gonna give you some very simple exercises you can do throughout the day to disregard your visible world or your circumstances and start focusing on the inner world, the inner world, the real world, your feeling states until your outer world matches that, until it brings all of your manifestations to you. And now I'm going to share an excerpt out of Neville Goddard's book, Thinking Fourth Dimensionally. This is chapter two, Assumptions Become Facts. The removing of the veil of the senses, the traveling into another world. To remove the veil of the senses, we do not employ great effort. The objective world vanishes by simply turning our attention away from it. We only have to concentrate on the state desired in order to mentally see it. But to give it reality so that it will become an objective fact, we must focus attention upon the invisible state until it has the feeling of reality. So what Neville Goddard is referring to here is focusing your attention on the invisible world without allowing any of your circumstances to change that is having the discipline and the focus and the ability to hold your attention on something without allowing anything else to come in. And a lot of times this can come from the development of the muscle of your mind, doing different exercises and actually just Putting this into practice on a daily basis will develop that part of the mind. So the more that you do this, the more powerful you become as a manifester and a creator and just developing that part of the mind where you can start creating and begin creating anything that you want. And this all stems from holding your attention on an invisible state until that invisible assumption or that state becomes a concrete fact in your world. And here's an exercise from Neville Goddard that will assist you in controlling the direction of your attention while in a state akin to sleep or just trying to visualize and create a feeling state. That way you can manifest and bring your desires to you. If you find it difficult to control the direction of your attention while in a state akin to sleep, you may find gazing fixedly into an object very, very helpful. Do not look at its surface, but into and beyond any plain object such as a wall, a carpet, or any other object which possesses depth. Arrange it to return as little reflection as possible. Imagine then that the, in this depth, you are seeing and hearing what you want to see and hear until your attention is exclusively occupied by the imagined state. So what Neville Goddard is referring to here is looking at an object, like you can use this to develop the control of your attention in a state akin to sleep. And that's by gazing, like looking into an object that possesses depth. And you're not looking at it, so don't look at its surface. Like if you're looking at a wall, you're not looking at the surface of the wall, but you are actually, you're seeing through the wall. And as you see in through the wall, you are going into a state of depth where you're you have control of the direction of your attention but you are not focused on the outside of the wall or the surface of the wall you're actually you're looking through the wall and as you're looking through the wall you're seeing and hearing everything that you want to see and hear in your imagination you're being told now that you're a multimillionaire you're now successful entrepreneur or whatever it is that you're trying to create so essentially you're breaking through the shell of consciousness through the wall and as you do that you, it's possessing depth so you're you're cracking through the shell of your consciousness and going into an unconscious state but still controlling the direction of your attention and as you enter this object in your meditation you're no longer you're no longer holding your attention on the surface of it, you're actually entering into it. So this is gonna give you the feeling 
of distance you're gonna you're gonna you're going within this and it's kind of like a controlled daydream at this point now you're traveling into this object that possesses depth and when you return from this meditation you're gonna feel like you're coming back from a faraway land and this is the trance that you're gonna be under as you leave into this dream state, but you're gonna be fully conscious while you're in it. You're gonna be able to see and hear and feel everything, all, everyone congratulating you and creating this vision within this sphere or in within this depth of this object. And when you come back, you're gonna feel like you came from a distant place. And when you come back, you're actually, it's actually gonna shock your sense, your senses when you come back, like it's gonna be an actual shock to you when you return from this depth because you feel like you went to a faraway place. And when you return, you've heard and seen everything that you wanted to see and hear. And now you have shock time sense. And in this state, basically what you're doing is you're shutting out the visible world and you're going into the invisible state. This is the real world, actually. This is the real invisible world. You're shutting out the visible world, going into the invisible world. And when you come back, it's gonna be a shock to you, like you've been deceived because you feel like you were really there and heard and seen and saw and witnessed all of these things happening to you as a different person while you're creating your, your mental scene and holding your attention on it within that depth. So essentially, this is an exercise that will assist you on disregarding your, your circumstances, your visible world. Your circumstances are your visible world. Everything that's going on to you is your three-dimensional visible world. And what this will do, it's getting you and teaching you how to look through your visible world into the invisible world and then see everything that you want to see behind it. What's really going on? Like if something happens where you get fired at your job or you get a bunch of bills that come in or all the all the debt that you're in or whatever's going on that's negative in your world, you you will have the ability to see through the surface of that, which is the visible world and see into the invisible world and then see and hear and witness everything that you want to see and hear and witness. So you're able to disregard your visible world and enter an invisible world and hear everything that you want to hear and see and witness. And then that's the real world. That's the actual real, real world. And that will shift you in the multiverse when you learn how to do this. No, because once you develop this part of your mind, it doesn't matter if someone comes up to you and starts yelling and cursing at you, criticizing you, you're going to laugh at them. You're going to see them as a giant stuffed animal because you can see right through the surface of your visible world and then create your own world within that as it's happening. And then you're seeing someone else telling you, oh, here's here's a here's a million dollars or they're giving you something or something great is happening into your world because you're no longer reacting to the visible surface of your world. You, you're now containing depth within your imagination. Now you can see right through the visible world, enter your invisible world, which is the real world, and then create whatever you want to see and hear and witness within that world. So essentially, this is the key to creating the world that you want and using the law of assumption, the law of attraction, all of these things. If you can master this one skill, this will change your concept of yourself. This will create this. This will give you feeling states, the feeling states that you want, and you'll be able to disregard everything in your visible world and see the invisible world all the time. And that will shift you in the multiverse and and all of those things in your world now that are negative that you no longer see because you realize that the visible world isn't real and that you're creating um, uh, in depth of an invisible world behind that in your trance state as it's happening that will shift you to that world where that's exactly what's going to happen and your visible world now will now vanish and eventually the invisible world that you see in depth in your visible world will then the invisible world will become your visible world the invisible world will then become the visible world. Once you once you master this technique and you can start using it throughout the day all the time and you develop this part of your mind to do this, your invisible world that you see that's not there yet will then become your visible world and then you will no longer have to do any of anything. Everything will be just the way that you want it to be all of the time with obstacles and things like that. But you'll know that they're they're beneficial to you. You'll be trained this way when you change your concept of yourself and then you will be manifesting things. Just a great life. Everything will be it'll be a complete 180. Your, your entire life will shift and change. And this is what I've developed over time and experienced to happen in my own reality. And what you'll find and what I've found after mastering this one skill 
is my inner talking starts changing, my inner dialogues start changing. And when your inner dialogues start changing from this exercise and disregarding the visible world and seeing what you want to see the in, in the invisible world, seeing and hearing everything, what happens is your inner dialogue starts changing and these are your thoughts. So your thoughts create, like we went over before, your thoughts create images in your mind and that's your imagination at work. That's what's creating your reality. And when you see these images from your imagination, your feeling states are coming. That's what's impressing the subconscious mind, the universe, you know, the all consciousness. Everything is being created from these this new inner talking, these new inner dialogues that, it, that Neville Goddard talks about. And when that happens, your imagination goes to work completely different. So you're changing everything by disregarding your visible world. These images are creating new feeling states and then you're being shifted in the multiverse that's congruent with your new feeling states, your new imagination, your new inner dialogue. So my only question to you now is why, why are you waiting? Why are you waiting to start this? If you haven't started this already, why not start developing this part of the mind where you can disregard your visible world and see an invisible world and then have these huge changes within your inner dialogue, your inner talking, what you're imagining and shifting in the multiverse to where you want to live and be happy and have everything that you want. Why would you want to wait? So start today with this exercise and watch this video again. Send it to anyone that you know that may need this sort of information. Maybe it's a little bit too complex. Maybe you can break it down to them a little bit more. Maybe refer them to other previous videos that I've made so they can catch up or refer someone to my website where I have PDF printout workbooks that they can follow and actually have worksheets and print them out and follow these simple instructions to develop this part of the mind to where they can do anything that they want. All right, guys, that's the end of this video, but I'm going to put all the links in the description. I'm also going to pin my link to my website in the comments at the very top so you can find that there refer that if you would like to or try out any one of my workbooks my printout workbooks they will absolutely help you in developing this part of the mind and I'll also put a card up to one of my favorite meditations that will also assist you in developing that part of the mind and hypnotize you into a new person a new concept of self having everything that you want as you're drifting into sleep all right guys i love you and i will see you in the next video